now we now we know that what is computer architecture now what we need to know who is a computer architect or what are to look backward as it says understand the trade offs and design what this means uh, what trade off uh, the design has gone through and why the trade off uh, ha has to be made so you can only understand this if you look backward uh, of the generations now look forward look forward means look to the future you come up with your futuristic design based on what you have learned from looking backward you come up with futuristic uh, design you can be a dreamer so this is what uh, this uh, look forward means and then look up look up means you you will always have situations or problems that are yet to be solved this can be happen because of the technological challenges that may have faced during the uh, time of uh, the design the the technology may not uh, may not uh, av may not be available uh, around that time so we can also work with those so this is called uh understand uh, uh, understanding important problems and their nature and develop architectures and ideas to solve important problems so those are problems which may have uh, some theoretical design available but it is not practically implemented so we can always work with that and look down look down is we need to understand the current architecture or technology that is available to us so until and unless we are able to identify the technology around us we wouldn't be able to design a system because when we are designing a system theoretically we wouldn't know uh, whether uh, that system is really practically implemented until we start working with it uh, or start building it when we are trying to build it we would know what are the technologies that are around and what are the technologies that is not around us when we end up in a situation where the required technology is not available then we need to trade off our design just to accommodate the available technology that we have and the output that we are looking for so this is what understand the capabilities of underlying technologies now let's see what we have in the next slide so so i hope you are here for this for what we all have done uh, or you all have done csc 110 111 which is our programming language course and we all have done uh, csc 260 which is hardware level course now what is programming uh, course uh, has uh, courses have given you programming language as a model for computation programmers view of how a computer system works so when we are only working with the programming language our general per uh, perception was that the computer works the way our programming language works and then uh, when we are uh, studying csc 260 uh, hardware designs view of how a computer system works and then digital logic as a model of computation when we are designing when we are dealing with 260 that means uh, hard, uh, digital logic design our idea of a computer system uh, was digital logic as a model for computer now when we have 110 111 as well as 260 now we started learning computer architecture we all know in computer architecture we need programming knowledge as well as uh, hardware knowledge so what happens in between so what happens here so this is what we are going to learn in this course so how does an assembly program end up executing as digital logic because we all know when you write a program that program gets translated into assembly code and assembly code gets translated into machine code which is feeded to the hardware for execution similarly 
how a computer designed a computer designed using logic gates and wires to satisfy specific goals that is been requested by the programming language so these are the things that uh, we will learn as it says architect or micro architectures view what would be the architect and micro architectures view in this case how to design a computer that meets system design goals choices critically affect both the software program uh, software programmer as well as the hardware designer so from this slide it is uh, basically clear that in this uh, this course computer architecture or the guy who is going to be a computer architect would be an interface for both programmer as well as the uh, hardware designer now computer architecture today what we have uh, today is a very exciting time to study computer architecture uh, this these are kind of old saying because uh, industry is in a large paradigm shift to multi core and beyond we all know that uh, around uh, from 2000 industry shifted towards a multi core processor and now we have uh, many cores in our processor so what this uh, has given uh, us this has given uh, uh, this uh, has given us high performance computer but at the same time it has opens up new challenges power and energy constraint as you know when we have more and more processors in, inside a, 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 a inside a processor uh, or a multi core processors uh, number of transistors will increase which means power consumption or energy consumption will also increase how we are going to deal with that complexity of the design as number of transistor uh, increases the design complexity also increases because transistors are going smaller and smaller technology scaling becomes an issue memory wall gap reliability issue programming how you are going to program uh, program when you have billions of transistor huge hunger for data and new and uh, data intensive application what this gives is since uh, users are getting more and more powers they require more and more power and uh, they are coming up with more and more power in intensive uh, applications so this is a challenge so there is no clear definitive answer to them but all of the of these challenges are researched and uh, scientists are coming up new ideas every day so technology trends uh, if we look at the technology trends in the uh, in the dram technology uh, if you if you look then you would see uh, the the picture is quite small but you can see it in the the actual picture in the figure it's 1.11 so you can see the uh, dram capacity has increased over the time now uh, if you if you look at this table in, in this table then you would see in this table then you would see that the cost has really come down when we uh, are looking for performance initial stage in around 51 uh, see the cost uh, it's once to one now uh, around 2013 or beyond see the costing for performance it's really really come down 